Dziękuję bardzo, senior. W imieniu Grupy Porozumienia Liberałów i Demokratów na rzecz Europy, pani Marian Harkin. Dziękuję, panie przewodniczący. Po pierwsze, chciałbym się pogratulować sprawozdawcy za jego bardzo kompleksowy raport na ten temat z dużą znaczeniem w EU25, czyli challenge demograficznej zmiany i the importance of solidarity between the generations. In essence, what this report proposes is improved quality of life for all at all stages of life and a recognition that policy decisions and legislation enacted should contribute to that core objective. Because of time constraints, I will briefly make just two points. I am happy to see included in this report a recommendation to member states to improve the provision of services of general interest in rural areas, thereby promoting an equitable balance between rural and urban living, in particular for older people. I am also asking for support on Amendment 20, which seeks to recognise the potential of assisted living housing. And I use as a template for this the St Brendan's Village project in County Mayo in the west of Ireland, and the SLE Habitat Extra Care Scheme in Lille in France. In a report produced by the European Liaison Committee for Social Housing to mark the United Nations Year of Older Persons, one of the main recommendations is that governments and service providers should facilitate and assist people to stay in their own communities as they get older. According to the report, the two projects I have just named provide good examples of projects built to meet local needs that help keep older people in the communities where they have spent most of their lives with the support of family, friends and services in familiar surroundings. And that is surely solidarity between the generations. All of us in this house, if we are lucky enough to live long enough, will be old. And for some of us, that's closer than others. But personally, I would prefer to live independently in my community with the level of social and medical assistance that I need. And the two projects I refer to are European models of best practice in this area and could be replicated throughout the EU25.